Mia joins us now live. And uh, Mia, it was uh, quite something to see the governor literally in tears after your introduction today. That is not something we often see from him. Uh, he said that he was reflecting on his own daughter as well and, and, and so moved by what you said. Um, if, if you could um, tell us a little bit about your story, about what happened to you uh, on that fateful day and, and about your journey to get to this point of activism. Yeah, thank you. Um, on November 14th of 2019, I was a freshman at Saugus High School in Santa Clarita, California. And it was like any other day. We were chatting before class with me and my friends. Suddenly there was a gunshot. I later found out I was shot in the stomach by a 45 caliber ghost gun. My best friend was killed along with another girl, Gracie Ann Muehlberger. Since then, I found that nothing has really relieved that pain other than fighting for change, fighting to make sure this doesn't happen to another kid. So that's what I did. I joined Moms Demand Action, Students Demand Action, Every Town for Gun Safety, and other grassroots organizations to help fight against gun violence for gun violence prevention and gun safety reform. That's incredible. So we obviously see you're wearing uh, one of your t-shirts, Students Demand Action. You've been to the White House, you've met with the president, you're with the governor today, you're 17 years old. Mm. You're uh, absolutely incredible, Mia. W what is the one realistic thing that is so important to you that you think needs to change for lives to be saved? Not only do we need politicians to really see that we are people that are dying. This isn't a distant thought that is going on in a different country or is, isn't affecting their people. These are the people that you represent, and we're dying in our schools, our churches, and this needs to change. So we need to ban assault-style weapons and ban ghost guns, and people like President Biden and Governor Newsom, they're really leading this charge for gun safety. And I know you expressed that to, to the governor uh, today. Where do you go? from here. We know that you are going to be a senior this year. Where do you want to go to college? I know there are certain places you don't want to go to college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, it was kind of sad to look at a map and realize there are so many states that I'm crossing off of my college list because they're open carry and they don't have real politicians who are fighting for the people. And from now on, for what you're asking, what I do from here, we can't stop fighting. These are huge wins and these are huge victories in the right, the, the right step, a step in the right direction, but we can't stop. We have an amazing governor. We have an amazing president who they're both so willing to make change and they're listening to us. So we just need to keep fighting. How are you doing uh, emotionally? I know you said that nothing really would take he, help heal you accept this form of activism how are you doing there's certainly no handbook on what to do after you were shot and you lost your best friend but knowing that even if one life is saved from the work that i do and the work that so many other students and moms do through every town that really gets you through the day. You know that you can't just sit and cry every day because you are here and you can make this change. And we saw that when President Biden did his ghost gun ordinance. We saw that today with Governor Gavin Newsom when he signed this bill. And we will continue to see this change. Mia, thank you so much um, for your bravery and sharing your story. And at just 17 years old, to be this uh, articulate and this poised is quite something. We know you've got a bright future ahead of you. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you both so much. And bravo to your parents. Yes. <laughs>